Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox there's a link below in the description box there uh, and when you sign up you'll get my free ebook which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Sellers welcome to our next video today I'm going to show you how to use one of the more recent functions in Excel uh, part of the dynamic array set of functions it is the filter function filter function and what we're going to do is we are going to um, extract or output using the filter function only positive numbers from my data set. This is actually a question from one of my subscribers that they wanted to output only positive volumes from a from a column of data to another area of the worksheet. So I've got a scaled back version of a kind of sample data set that they had. So let's get started and I'll show you how really quickly we can solve the problem. So as I said, so the filter function is one of the dynamic array functions and these were announced back in 2018 by Microsoft. So the filter function, uh, this is the syntax of it. Uh, it is the array, which is our set of data, what we want to include, and that's the criteria that we're looking for. And then the last argument, which is optional if empty. This is what do, what, what do we want Excel to do if there are no results to be returned. So let's go ahead and start and type filter. So our array is this set of data. What we want to include is any of these values greater than zero. Close the parentheses. And what Excel does is it, it spills out the data, filters out the data, or it's called spilling, spills out the data to, to another part of the Excel worksheet. So let's just give this a heading and say that it is positive numbers. Positive numbers. So, so this is a dynamic function. If we now change our original data set, the array actually updates as well. Why don't we just on the flip side take out negative numbers. So let's select our array and we want to look for less than zero. Close the parentheses. And there we have it. We have our negative numbers extracted. And let's just test it again by adding in A negative number and both of our data sets have updated. I hope you enjoyed that. I find that a really useful um, new addition to the Excel functions. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, ask a question if you want me to cover anything in Excel and I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.